Thursday, the 18th of May 2021, I've got to make a film now. And you can see I have my work cut up for me. Whoa, God, it looks like I've been here all day, folks. So, um, um, because like I have to, I'm recording the soap, so I'm recording the soap, so um, it's like I've been here for hours doing this because I have a whole pile of washing here to do, so it's like I've been here for hours doing this. Um, so it looks like I won't be, I won't be finishing. I won't, like I won't be finished in time for the soaps because, it's, um, as you can see, it's very late in the afternoon. It's uh, nearly five to four in the afternoon. I'm starting quite late today, so it looks like I won't be finished in time for the soaps. It's very on, highly unlikely that I'll be finished in time for the soaps today. So that's why um, I'm recording them today. So I thought it would be wise, spicy to do record the soaps because it's very late in the afternoon. You usually start. I usually start a lot earlier in the day when I'm doing the cleaning, usually around 2 o'clock, half to 3 o'clock. But as you can see, it's really late in the afternoon, um, so that's why I'm bored on the soap. So I'm just get my tea for that. I did my first day of shopping yesterday, I was back at the shops yesterday for the first time in, um, since um, Christmas, since Christmas yesterday. And I tell you, it was glad, it was actually great to be back, but um, it was actually great to be back at the, st at the shops again. Um, fantastic to be back at, and um, look around pennies and um, then we looked down golden discs. I got some set some clothes for the stud, and um, I was had a bit of a bit of one complaint. I had um, I paid for um, I was going to get a, a two piece tracksuit, and um, I asked a girl for the for the top the top and um, matching set matching part of the tracksuit, the jumper. I asked for the size large, and she took it off the shelf for me, and I, I handed it into the um, bag. Put it into the bag, and the woman at the counter forgot to put it into the bag. So I only ended up coming home with the with the bottoms, and I should have come home with the both the top and the bottoms. So I only ended up with the bottoms of the tracksuit, and I should have come home with both the top and bottoms of the tracksuit. So that's my first complaint. <sighs> so only one complaint. That's my very first complaint. I mean, haven't been there since before Christmas. So I'm only I'm only just back at the shops since before Christmas, and I'm, and I really have have a complaint. I'm, for pennies as well, which is I should never, and I never really complain about pennies. But there you go. And then after that, we um, went outside to the fountain, gleaming sunshine, beautiful sunshine, we by the fountain, and we sat outside. We had tea, and I had a crepe, a ham and cheese crepe, and uh, they had pods and they had tables outside as well, and benches, and the fountain was on. The fountain was on, and uh, hadn't been on for over a year or something. These still must be these still more of them, over more than over, more than over a year, and because uh, so it wasn't operating, it wasn't working, something like that. So the trouble with the fountain wasn't working, but thankfully it was on yesterday. And sat by the fountain, and I managed to uh, managed to film a program of the fountain. Well, there was two programs in one. It was, well, it was two. It, it was two programs um, close together. It, 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 it one after the other. There was one program, and then another one, more or less, came on almost immediately after the last one. But the first one wasn't as good as the as the second. The second one was a mile better than the first. I went on at least over seven minutes or so, and it was explosive, literally explosive um, program. Literally explosive. The water was splashing everywhere, and I got. And I got splashed. There's water flying everywhere, flying shooting up into the sky. It was literally explosive. It was a magnificent program. At least it was over seven minutes long. So it was my first time filming the fountain since 2016. I think 2016 was my last time I filmed the fountain, which is a long time. And um, see, so I was filming in the, about the fountain and filming, spent a lot of time in Dundrum to see 2016, this is before we knew about the Irish National Club. So. We filmed, we spent a lot of time in other areas, we said before we went to the stud. We had to think of other things to film because we, we didn't know anything about the stud at this stage. So we spent a lot of time in Dundrum filming the fountain, doing water, water shows, and we 
holidays and as well in Bellingham and filming ponies and other things, other events and boat trips and stuff like that. So we're trying to think of other things to film. Um, because we didn't know about the stud at this stage, just about 2016, but, um, but it was an amazing day yesterday. I was just telling the viewers about our amazing day at the Dundrum yesterday, yeah. about the Bounton, a magnificent explosive um, programme, and sitting by the, um, by the benches and the stuff as well, and the teas and the yeah. preps and the glorious gleaming sunshine. Great, isn't it? A magnificent day, yeah. amazing day, yeah. amazing day. But anyway, I've got to get to it, I'll never get it done. But anyway, <coughs> so uh, a big mess here, didn't it? Felt strange getting back there actually, because it's been so long. It's just, but before Christmas, I think, since you were done, well, felt really strange getting back there. Very Quite busy yesterday, a lot of people, a lot of families and children and babies and it was quite jammed yesterday, very busy, very busy day. Um, golden discs as well. I didn't buy any golden discs but I was just looking around, it wasn't really anything exciting to look to see in, in golden discs, nothing really exciting in at all. I didn't really see anything to my liking at all in golden discs that really appealed to me, so I didn't buy anything. I was just looking around, really. But, um, it was nice to be back. Nice to be back. But strange, though. It felt really weird being back. But it was nice. I said a lot of few people there. So, you know, so. I showed it up. I'll say they're all delighted to be back at work as well. You know. But they're all getting paid, which is good. I was glad to hear that they're all getting paid. The pennies were getting paid. At least they're all getting paid, at least there's something, you know, it's terrible that they weren't getting paid. At least they're getting some money, you know. You know, so at least, at least they were old, you know. They do go, they do work very hard, you know. Um, well, By the time that child is um, 10 years old, she'll be 60. <laughs> yeah, by the time that child turns to, um, 10, she'll be 60. Yeah. 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 She's had a child at such, such a late age. Insurance.ie. 
Harry Kane will start for Spurs in their Premier League game with Aston Villa tomorrow, despite widespread reports that he wants to leave the club. Caretaker manager Ryan Mason says he hasn't had any conversations with the striker about his future. I to Harry pretty much every day. He's excited along with me about tomorrow. How only discussions have been about the game tomorrow, about the game at the weekend against Wolves. Um, he's excited. We're all excited. We're not playing in front of our fans. Leicester manager Brenton Rodgers wants his side to seize their opportunity to qualify for the Champions League as they look to beat Chelsea for the second time in four days. Having won the FA Cup to go to Stamford Bridge in the Premier League this evening, knowing four points from their final two games will guarantee that top four finish. Rodgers says it's in their we hands. We're going to in the Champions League. We've, we've worked so hard throughout the season. For us, we write our own story. And, and our story is now to go into this next game and see if we can get a result. And uh, if we get the win, brilliant, we're there. If not, then uh, go to the last game. Manchester United are in action this evening. They host Fulham from six, also at six, leads away to Southampton at seven. Manchester City go to Brighton. Former United and Ireland captain Roy Keane has been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame. The Cork man won seven Premier League titles in a 12 and a half year career at Old Trafford. Keane joins former United teammate Eric Cantona, who was also inducted into the Hall of Fame today. And it's been a good day so far for Team Ireland at the European Aquatic Championships in Budapest. Lona McSharry came through her heat in second place to make the semis of the 100 metres breaststroke this evening, while the mixed 4 by 200 metres free style relay team featuring Tallis Brendan Highland has also advanced to tonight's final. And Lawrence Connor Ferguson also in action this evening. He goes in the final of the 50 metres backstroke. And that's your sport with petinsurance.ie. Does your puppy eat everything in sight? Ensure your dog stays healthy and happy. Visit petinsurance.ie. FM 104's weather with local heroes.ie. From faulty fuses to broken boilers. Find trusted tradespeople in just a few clicks. A mix of sunny spells and scattered showers. Heavy at times with a risk of hail and lightning. Highs of 15 degrees. At the moment it's 12. Guess who's at the bar? With Snug Pub, your bespoke garden bar. Snug it up to fit anywhere. One thing is for sure, the Snug Pub is very impressive. Check out the Far Others Do virtual tour on our TikTok. And I take you with us on Friday. The amount of it's just in the area kind of drop in calls you to get. But well worth it. Has everything. Two taps, heaters, lights. Even down to the bacon fries. We call it everything. Uh, Irish and female, not a singer, not a sports star. On a TV ad, that was a big clue. And not former president Mary McAleese. No, no. Hey, it is who it is. Well played. Text or WhatsApp up with the details. 087 679 Now, five days in a row. Completely ad free with Ben Murray.